You got your Suge Knight shirt oh, yeah. on? Yeah, Suge Knight shirt. I got tacos that might not have been Lizard. We're okay. hoping. You did well. Now, where is this place at? This place is on Burbank. Because you, you keep telling me that the place I went to what Burbank? had Lizards. Burbank right up here in Lancashire. Okay. Burbank and Lancashire. Because you kept telling me, and I'm gullible already. That place? Oh, Jesus Christ. Now, what does this place have? This place has skin. This place has Not bugs. Not the one with the potato tacos. Like, that would be too hard for you. No, but the, you, everything else at the potato taco place isn't good. Look at 19 potato tacos. Why are you killing yourself bouncing everywhere? I've never seen something like this in my life. I I, maybe I until, didn't want a potato taco. Until I met my Puerto Rican Italian brother, Luis Gomez. Listen, dog. How the fuck do you live in the East Coast and you go to Taco Bell? What business do you even have in Taco Bell at this age? I'm telling you, it's because I am a pothead. And you when can't you, go to Taco Bell. Well, you're, bro. There's not very many good tacos in New York. You what about find, a slice of pizza? I don't even give a fuck who makes it. A black dude. Anything's got to be better. Yeah. You even told me yourself you worked at Taco Bell. Why would you go back there and get that meat? Sometimes you make mistakes, bro. <laughs> no, there's no mistakes like Sometimes, that. Sometimes, listen, it's not like an everyday thing. It's like once a year I fuck up, and then I'm like, dude, you know what? I'm going to get a fucking Crunchwrap Supreme. No, I fuck up. Or Chalupa. I fuck up. But you worked there. You saw behind the curtain. Yeah. I, that's what I don't understand. You saw behind the curtain, Louis Gomez. I'm not talking to some fucking kid from, you know. Min, min, you know, some fucking bum fuck. You're, you're a Jersey guy. Yeah. How the fuck? You saw behind the curtain. You went in there and you could tell when you put the meat in the water. That could be a finger. That could be somebody's missing fucking ant, a dog. Yeah, I don't you don't know, know what, what the fuck you're eating. And listen, no. I like Taco Bell too. I threaten myself to go to Taco Bell. That's how you punish yourself. I, but I won't go. Yeah. I won't go. And I, listen, nobody likes those sour cream things in there, those, that burrito supreme. Well, after you got two or three joints in you, that shit's the Mac it's, Daddy it's bum. It's the Chalupa. The What's the chalupa? Where, that's, they take the gordita shell, then they fucking fry it. They deep fry it. And it's like that crunchy chalupa. You just can't get that. Even if you go to a real taco place in New York, because there's a place in East Harlem on 116th and 3rd that has banging tacos. It's like some of the best tacos in New York City. And the Stand uh, Comedy Club. They have the best fish taco I've ever had in my entire life. Period. Fuck everything you heard in California. Go to the Stand Comedy Club in Gramercy. The best fish taco I've ever had in my entire life. They got great life. food, period. Unbelievable. They got great fucking food. Did you go in there real? No, I've never been there. I've heard. That's all I've heard. The fucking food there, and they put it down your throat. Yeah. Like, as soon as you walk in, they hand you a menu. And they're like, you got to eat something. You got to eat something. And even if you ate, you got to eat. And last time I went, I don't know what the fuck it was. It was George. It was me and my brother George went, and we just ate something like it. They just brought us like sandwiches. I'm not a big sandwich guy when I'm in New York. I know what sandwich I want. It was fucking brilliant. Yeah. Like most places, most comedy clubs have like chicken fingers. Yeah, burgers. they got shitty fucking menus, not the stand. Though. Well, that that was their thing. That was their angle. That was their angle. Yeah, they were like, we're going to have good fucking food, good drinks, the environment. You're going to feel like you want to bring a hot drink, drink, get dressed up. You know, up. like, I had, oh, that's what I had, the ahi tuna sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, like they don't fuck around with spinach on it and fucking like a rioli sauce. Like it was, everything there is banging. You're right. No, that, when I go to, listen, I fuck around when I come here. And even here, like I was sitting there yesterday. And Lee was there. Lee came by, and I was sitting in the front, and all of a sudden, a Domino's pizza or something like that came <laughs> by. And my daughter looked at me, and I looked at her. And some f times I find weaknesses, and I'll buy one of those pizzas. I won't do it, man. Yeah. I'm from a place where pizza was invented. I can't fold like But on that. the road, here's the thing, man. On the road. I've, I've had, had great pizza on the road. Not here. No, I've had a, great pizza on the road. If I'm on the road, I went to Montreal and I ordered Domino's because the pizza in fucking Canada just blows across the board. Yeah, why would you think that you're going to get good pizza in Canada? Because <laughs> I, well, that you the entire country of Canada, you can't well, get Well, here's the problem. I don't think Where the can. bananas used to get heroin from, they were fucking Italian. I forget what their name was. And, and, and if you look at, they, they got a family. In fact, Eddie Bravo had a school. They had a school. Okay. When Eddie told me their name, and I go, Eddie. That's a mafia family. It's an Italian family that sold, they imported the heroin. When the heroin comes over, it goes to Canada first. Then it comes into the United States. Follow those guineas. There's got to be a pizza. I went to Toronto, and I know that the Chinese food was banging. I had some burgers that were banging. I had great food in fucking Toronto. I had Cuban food in Toronto. Toronto's got a big Cuban population. Well, Toronto's like the New York yeah, of Canada. Yeah, the New York so of Canada. Some, yeah, you, there's some good restaurants there. But anywhere else, it's going to be hard to find really good food. If you want to, you know, you get a, a smoked meat sandwich or poutine. They have those specialty shits in, in Montreal. But I had I had Chinese food in Montreal. It was fucking awful. Yeah. Well, yeah awful. I ordered, uh, what do they call it, um, cold sesame noodles? 
They put peanut butter yeah, on you spaghetti. Should be shot and hung. You should be shot and hung. <laughs> you just you couldn't order pork fried rice and take it from there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you had to go right for the gutso, sesame and soup noodles, which they're gonna fuck up anyway. Yeah. Because nobody makes Chinese food like where you were raised. Yeah, yeah. Even in Patterson, there's a great little Chinese place on a corner yeah. that's fucking delicious. And they have what you, you, you're used to that flavor. See, when I go to Buffalo, there'll be good Chinese food. The Chinese rice, and it's dark as Jersey, but they still flavor it up. They got nice ribs. They got a nice hot and sour soup. You know, you got a nice beef on wick. I'm looking forward to a couple of salads to balance you out, a few wings. <laughs> Some blue cheese to get the farts going on the way back on the plane. And at the airport in Buffalo on the way out, you get a beef on wick sandwich Sunday morning at 6.30 in the fucking morning. They are not making beef on wick at yes, 6.30 in the morning. Yes, they are. They're making tomorrow. I fly out of gate 42. If you don't think I'm thinking about that hamburger with the fucking egg on top of it, you're fucking out of your mind. My wife went and got me a roll. I'm going to make a nice egg cheese fucking omelet. I'm going to put it on a sesame seed fucking thing. I'm going to make a little fruit smoothie with almond milk. I'm going to take my blood pressure medication. I'm going to smoke like 30 fucking numbers. And I'm eating like three of these stars and I'm getting on that fucking plane with the iPod. It's over. Yeah, it's, uh, something changed with airports. They they started having good food very recently, I almost feel like. Yes. It used to be all just like Cinnabon and horse shit. Oh, fucking horrid. Yeah. Fucking horrid. It's now, a horrid show. Now there's like pretty good like little fucking places, like nice restaurants. You get a steak, Chicago, like a good you get burger. a banging motherfucking Italian meal yeah. in Chicago. You get a, in Long Island, you get a fucking steak like a doctor. You go to fucking <laughs> Canada Airport, you're delayed. No problem. Do you ever bring it on the plane? No. No? No, no, no there's no need to. There's no need to stink up the fucking plane like a savage and shit like that. There's no need to. Why are you going to bring your funk? Everything smells different on a plane. <laughs> McDonald's smells delicious when it's out in the open. Bring it on a plane. It smells like somebody's fucking rooted asshole. Like they tore it out and it's just hanging there with all the old shit dripping. That's what McDonald's smells like on a fucking plane. So next time you're going to bring your fucking egg big muffin, I hope you get cancer. Don't bring it on a fucking plane, okay? Eat it fast like I do. Inhale that fucking thing. So nobody even sees you. Eat what the, how big is an egg big muffin? It's Three bites. Yeah. Three bites if you're a fucking savage. <laughs> That's how I eat McDonald's anyway. I'm always like embarrassed that I'm eating it. So I'll go in the corner, like face away from yeah, everybody on the no, wall. No, it's like in yeah. 20 years, they're going to throw rocks at you. Like when you eat at McDonald's, people are going to throw rocks at you. Like you were a whore. Like 2,000 years ago, they <laughs> rocked you. Same thing when you eat McDonald's. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. But they, they do it all the time. People always bring like sandwiches. Like what's, the, I, know, I know hummus, but like what's the worst thing you've ever seen on a plane? I've seen hummus. A man's foot. That's the worst thing I've ever seen on a plane. Those fucking animals with slippers. I hope the plane does go down so they gotta run a thousand <laughs> miles and a better gasoline and they'll wear sneakers and work boots like I fucking fly, okay? You always get your toes covered in case there's a fire or something. They fly with flip flops to be fucking cool. No, I, I, don't, I don't bring nothing on a fucking plane. I bring reefer. That's it. A fucking vapor pen and I sit there with the iPod and I look straight ahead. I don't talk to nobody. But don't you get anxiety? Well, you're in first class a lot. What of fucking guess. anxiety? How do you get anxiety? Because like in the walk back, the one time I did it on the way to Austin, I had to walk all the way to the back of the end of the plane. It took forever for like the food to. I, I, I didn't like it. It was like too much almost. It's not. You never get that way for you. What? I'll, like weed on a plane. Like no, there's something I like about the altitude. Stoned. or I like Jesus. stoned on a plane. It makes that flight a lot easier. Yeah. Man. Anything after three hours, you're in hell. 